Do I know how many times the company name has been mentioned in the rap song? I do not, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot. Um, 121 times. Oh yeah? That's a lot of time. What's up GQ, I'm Joe Aviani, and this is On The Rocks. A lot of our clients have been a lot of celebrities. They come from the basketball world, the football world, the entertainment world, Jamie Foxx, Tom Cruise, Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, and, and so on and so forth. Well, let's talk chains, man. This was created for Slick Rick. He wanted to have the biggest chain on the planet. This is a Cuban that weighs 12 pounds. So, putting this on, imagine having the big Africa piece that we did from that's in the Guinness World Book of Records along with this particular chain. That's pretty heavy. You gotta be, you know, doing a workout wearing this shit. He's been talking to me about this for years. It's one of his biggest dreams ever to own a big Cuban link, one of the biggest Cuban links. It's probably gonna run him about 400,000. You know, I want to talk about Koi. Koi LeRae, I met, I would say about four years ago. Her name is Koi. She's beautiful, iconic, vibrant. So why not make a Koi fish chain for her? Because a Koi fish chain is also beautiful, vibrant, with many different colors. This piece came out beautiful. When this dropped, this broke the airwaves. And besides this breaking the airwaves, it put a smile on her face because nothing that she has is what anyone else has. So when she's in the room, she's gonna be the focal point of the room. The Wasek necklace. This particular piece was made for Bobby Schmurder. As you could see, it's not a regular necklace. As you could see, the way it's sitting on my hand is not like a regular chain would sit. When I thought about this, I thought about pharaohs and how they used to wear their, their chains and their jewelry in that time, thousands of years ago. Bobby didn't hit me up to create this piece. This piece was already created and I just had it hidden. And I was waiting for the right talent to put it on. The main, main, main person who gave us that, that battery on the back and let us know that we're able to do anything is my man Killer from Diplomats. Cameron just got signed to The Rock, came in here, asked for a million dollars worth of jewelry right there on the spot. Can you imagine being in your early 20s and you solidify a deal of that magnitude? W what would you do? I asked him, I said, look man, we're doing your Mona Lisa, the male Mona Lisa. You know, I wanna throw a chain on it that's never been done. This particular chain right here, if I show you how this was concepted, you wouldn't even believe it. My wife and I were in a store in Arizona and I saw a chain there that I liked it. I took this <laughs> and I put this from it. Put the blueprint together, pitched it to Cam. You know what I mean? And Cam was like, Joe, you the godfather of this shit. Do your thing. We want you to be different because jewelry speaks volumes without you having to say a word. This Pac-Man chain right here. Like just look at the details of this. Look at the two carats each diamond that's in here. Look at the two-tone effect that's here. Pac-Man Jones, Adam Jones, retired football player. He never did anything generic. Always wanted, you know, his own and why not come and share your concepts with us, whatever it is, and we bring it to life. And that's what we created for him. Ah, you wanna talk about this one right here with the AK bullets for Sniper Gang, huh? This right here is made for Kodak Black. You guys remember that platform, MySpace? This kid was hitting our company up since then. So this particular chain was made for him. You know, as you can see, they go to Target. You know, that Sniper Gang Target, we, had, we ended up putting the Aviani A to brand it. Plus with these AK bullets in between are 
Cuban links. This is 120,000, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome one of the co-founders of Runtz, one of the largest brands in the world in the cannabis business. My brother LB, welcome to the show. Good to see you, brother. Man, Good to see it. you, man. I wanted you on this particular segment, man. It's because what we're about to introduce to the world has never been done before, brother. Everybody does like, you know, medallions and all this and like Cuban links with like baguettes and just the biggest piece in the world type. But I was just trying to come with something that was like an innovation that ain't never been done before. So I asked all the jewelers and they were just like, nah, it hasn't been, it hasn't been. I'm like, can we do it? They were like, we don't know, we can try it. So from that, when I pitched the idea, this man was one of the dudes that literally made the idea come to life. It's the DNA link, you know? So We're rolling it out here on the rocks first. Yeah, this is something different, you know, and it's special. And it was one of a kind, like, it ain't never been done in history. Like, the link has never been done. I don't think there's one person on earth that ever came up with a DNA link. I'm proud to say, with, you know, my partner, with my brother, we came through and executed the project for real, all the way. Let's talk about watches, ladies and gentlemen. There's nobody doing art into watches. What everyone is doing is taking the basic Rolex or the basic Audemars Piaget or the Patek Philippe and just doing what anybody could do is just bust them down. Ain't nobody doing this type of work. Look at this, this is for my man Cam. Take a look at this watch. This is still in pieces, it's still a prototype, but this is his iconic Diplomat logo turned into a timepiece. Take a look at the star band. Like, who's doing this? Take a look at the bandana that we're doing for Blueface. Just continue going with his, you know, image, his style, and his likeness. Take a look at this. There's no one doing something like this, ladies and gentlemen. We're always pushing the envelope. You know, the starting price point would be about 20,000. Take a look at this specific watch that's created for Bobby Schmurter. These are just in production stages. This isn't even ready, but imagine this being on someone's wrist. What are you thinking when you're seeing this? <laughs> Some royal shit. Liberace, how you doing? You know? People ask me every day, what was going through your mind when this came into your head? I said, I don't know. It just happens. I guess every artist has their frequency that they're tuned into. And these concepts just keep coming to me. We're just blessed to facilitate our ideas and create them. We have our own watches that we've been creating for the last 21 years as well. So this is what we decided to do this last few years is just create art pieces, bring art to the watch game, which no one is doing. Take a look at this magnificent feast right here. Look at that, my man LB. If you have something like this on your wrist, it's already doing a lot of talking. Like, who's doing this? Put the skeleton on there. Who one's doing that? This specific ring right here was created about eight years ago. When it was first made and put on display, Young Thug walks in here. Young Thug was like, oh my God, let me get the chain, let me get the medallion, and let me get the ring. Take a look at the boogers that's in this particular ring. This ain't your average little chips that's in there, ladies and gentlemen. These right here is boogers. See how big they are? Rocks. You know, a ring like this is about 40,000 on my pinky. Let's talk about this particular one right here. My man 2 chains his ring. Like, look at that. Who's doing that? Look at the craftsmanship. Look at the different color stones. Look at the different shape stones. Look at the metal. The ring is yellow gold with the white border going around it. All these small details add to the brand value because we pay attention to all these little details. I mean, look at that. Takes up my whole finger. This ring right here is 50,000. How much does the table cost? <laughs> That's the number one question, ain't it? There's a few million dollars here, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Nah, a little below 10 mil, I would say. Just a little below 10 mil. 